What's up, everyone? Chris with B-Minus Demos here. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today. If you haven't already, go ahead and do the YouTube stuff. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave me a comment, share this video, turn on the notification bell, all those things. We're going to go ahead and jump into this one. Most of my life has been spent as kind of a punk rock, hardcore guitar player, and things like reverb and fuzz just never were really a part of what I was doing. Until the last few years, that is. I probably started really checking out reverb as an effect maybe eight or ten years ago, uh, but fuzz is super new for me. Honestly, a year or two, and I haven't even played that many. Fuzz lends itself to so many different styles. I think one of my favorite things with fuzz, though, is anytime somebody throws a reverb in there with it. And if I've learned anything over the last two years, uh, if people on the internet are fighting... Uh, more often than not, they're fighting about whether or not you put fuzz into reverb or reverb into fuzz. Actually, that may be backwards for you guys, but you, you know what I'm saying. So we're going to solve this once and for all. We're going to get down to it. We're going to figure out, do you put fuzz first or do you put reverb first? And I promise when we get to the end, we will have a definitive answer. For fuzz, I'm going to be using this Muff clone from Heretic Effects. I asked the guy over at Heretic, I was like, hey, you know, like, based on any particular muff, and he said he just took the circuit and started changing stuff until he was happy with it, and if you ask me, that's the best way to build a pedal. For reverb, we're going with the classic Boss RV5 digital reverb. You're going to hear two settings on this. We're going to start on the modulated reverb. With that, I'm going to have the, the sustain turned way down on the fuzz. Um, and this is kind of how I would play it, uh, you know, and how I do tend to play fuzzes. Um, and then we'll, you know, fuzz reverb, then reverb fuzz. And then we'll swap things up a little bit. I'll go up to the spring reverb, and I'll really crank the sustain, pull back the tone, and push the volume as much as I can without clipping. The rest of the setup is a little different as well this week. I am using the Nimbrini Audio Faceman plugin. It's very obviously based on a Fender Bassman, and the last couple of weeks, I've just been on a real Bassman kick. I'm also using two Atlas 612 IRs. One of them has Vintage 30s, and the other one has Veteran 30s. So let's go ahead and get into the light fuzz with the modulated reverb. <laughs> to switch things up i'm gonna crank the sustain on the fuzz i'm gonna pull it back try to get it to muff a little bit and uh of course i'm gonna switch that reverb over to the spring reverb <laughs>
that's it. I told you at the end we would have a sound. Fuzz into reverb, or reverb into fuzz. I don't know if you guys saw this coming, but the answer is yes. Yeah, fuzz into reverb, or reverb into fuzz, yes. The answer is always yes. One of my favorite things about fuzz is the way it's changed my approach to effects in general. I was always a drive section, modulation, time-based effects, and then reverb. That was it. There was no deviation. I wasn't moving anything ever. But fuzz is such a cool effect, and people use it in so many different ways, and it just caused me to, over the last year or so, really start testing out different setups. All right, hey, that's all I've got for you this week. I hope everyone has an awesome week. I'll see you later.